ATC motorcycles, you're going to see quite a bit of difference in, um, in, in the motorcycles out on the track right now. So the two out front uh, are unlimited 50cc division. And then uh, heading down the back straightaway right now on the red machine is Ryder Howell on the number 77. He is the only rider that has signed up for our four-stroke division. Uh, so that's why you're going to see such a big difference in speed out here on the racetrack. But uh, down uh, the front straightaway for lap number one, means Brian Bell is going to lead this one on lap number one over Arlo Turner. Arlo Turner out of Bethlehem, PA on the number 97, running in the second position right now as uh, Means uh, is already working on extending that lead on the, what would be the start of lap number two. These 50cc riders are going to go a total of six laps. Six laps around a racetrack uh, this size for uh, these little riders has got to feel like an eternity. Uh, probably similar to a drive down the turnpike for uh, me or you, but uh, I'm sure uh, it brings a big smile to these uh, these little faces as uh, they get to ride the big half mile, which is something a, a lot of the young riders aspire uh, as they uh, look up to the bigger uh, you know, the, the bigger classes that we'll see run a little bit later tonight as the adult divisions, you know, uh, tend to um, ride uh, the bigger tracks a little bit more, get that opportunity a little bit more than our, our uh, peewee division, that, which you see out here on the track right now. on the 26 and out front uh, making it look easy you know means has uh, come a long way in this 50 cc class this year uh, a lot of first place a lot of second place finishes and uh, don't want to jinx it for her right now but looks to be uh, on her way to another heat race win and coming by the line right now in second spot is the 97 of Arlo Turner And across the stripes on the Honda. Uh, four-stroke division, our uh, only rider in the four-stroke division tonight, the number 77 of Ryder Howell out of Maryland. White flag out, one more lap to go. Checkered flag out for the uh, 26M. Means Brian Mel out of Harvard Grace, Maryland, going to pick up heat race win number one. Followed by the 97 of Arlo Turner. So once 
these riders out here on the track right now are racing for a starting position for their uh, respective main event.
Looks like our leaders are going to come up on some lap traffic here. They uh, work their way around the 11 of Lucas Stern on the Yamaha PW50. Lucas is out of Gap, Pennsylvania. New rider to uh, District 6 here. Kind of getting the hang of uh, going around in circles as our uh, leaders get the white flag. One more lap to go. Machine Lucas Stern. <laughs> 1.5cc out on the track right now. Off with a whole shot in the turn number one and one and two. Looks like the 104 Jackson Taylor. Both these riders out of Coatesville, Pennsylvania. Jackson Taylor on the 104, leading over the A of Jaden McAllister. Suzuki versus Kawasaki here. Jackson's going to lead by round for one.
to relieve it, but coming under uh, some pressure here. Let's see if Fisher can hang on to the lead.
65 cc heat race through uh, Eldridge uh, coming under the advances of the 91 of Samuels. Let's see if uh, Eldridge can hold off Samuels as they come to the line. Exciting heat race there for 65 cc riders. division our ladies class out on the track right now this is open to uh, uh, a variety of motorcycles in order to sign up for this class you have to be obviously a female and out there uh, leading is the number four Brianna old Danny but new leader as I uh, speak that out in through the mic and now we have a shipment Shipman out of Maybrook, New York, and I'll lead this one. Shipman following in the uh, footsteps of uh, her older sister, Sean Brianna, who made it to the uh, professional American flat track ranks. Giovanna. Shipman's father, Ron, had to actually rebuild that motorcycle as last week. Uh, Giovanna had some mechanical issues down in Delaware. That 125 seized up. And they back to New York, rebuild that motorcycle, and here they are tonight. Leading the uh, Heat Race. Number four, Brianna Mulvaney. Third, the 68.
Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania.
one and two for the first time. Tiff Baines extending that lead going down the back straightway. Looks like we've got a three-car battle over the second position between the 22 and the 27. for the number eight of Tiff Mays. 22 going backwards uh, in a hurry. 22 now, uh, that's Hendricks. Finds himself in the fifth position. And then, oh, Hendricks spins it down. Come off of uh, turn number four.
Michigan Speedway. See if Harris has any, can do anything from the back of the pack here as we're looking for green this time off of turn number four. Green flag out. That's uh, Jerry Bressler leading them on lap number one. by the 97 of Arlo Turner and then uh, the 77 of Ryder Howell on uh, the Red Machine. The Red Machine being a four-stroke stock motorcycle. You're going to see quite a bit of difference in speed here as not as much to do with the riders but the motorcycle that these riders are on. So a uh, little bit of a disadvantage there for the 77. However, he is the only rider that has signed up for the uh, stock four-stroke 50cc class. So instead of uh, making everybody sit here and watch two separate main events for these 50cc riders, since we have a total of three, we figured we'd help shorten up the program a little bit and put them all out on the racetrack at the same time. And... Uh, we did that for your, uh, with you in mind to, to keep this night rolling. So out there on the track right now, leading is the 26M. Out of Harvard to Grace, Maryland, Memes. She's, uh, she's been uh, coming quite along well this year. Uh, got a couple of uh, wins under her belt. Picked up a big win down in Hagerstown, Maryland. Uh, came back with a couple second place finishes at uh, Lincoln Speedway a couple weeks back. And now here she is leading this uh, main event over the 97 of Arlo Turner out of Bethlehem, PA. 
So uh, that's our uh, 50cc unlimited division out on the track. And across the stripes right now is the 77 of Ryder Howell, the only rider to sign up in our 50cc stock four-stroke class. So quite possibly the, the easiest win of a young rider's career uh, being the only rider in the 50cc stock four-stroke class. As Memes has uh, nobody in sight behind her. A lot of real estate between the first and second place rider. As Memes leads them off a of turn number two down the back straightaway. Tucks in to help re, uh, reduce that wind resistance. Memes with a huge lead over the 97 of Arlo Turner. Arlo Turner out of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Doesn't quite have that tucked down the way our leader does of Memes. You can see down the back straightaway how Memes really gets as low as possible on these little 50cc machines. That makes a huge difference, especially on a track of this size. These riders are the future of the sport. And, uh, you know, right now, there might only be three of them out there, but I can guarantee you that when uh, they come by the front straightaway, they can definitely hear you folks. So we, as we see the halfway flags out now, when they come by for uh, that checkered flag, let's put our hands together and really let them hear it. You know, uh, these riders, that means everything to these riders. That fills them up with a lot of uh, inspiration to uh, want to do this and, uh, and carry on. So let them hear you when they come by for their uh, checkered flag and this uh, 50cc unlimited and 50cc four-stroke stock main event. See some little trick-or-treaters throughout the grandstand. Like I said, we got uh, nine youth main events to go, and then it will be uh, Halloween bash time down here on the front straightaway. Got a lot of participants, uh, even in the pits, a lot of young racers after their youth main events. Can't wait to get their costumes on and make their way out to the front straightaway. It's going to be a good time for all. And that's going to happen immediately after our uh, youth division main events. We have nine youth division main events on tonight's docket. Right now out on the racetrack is uh, youth main event number one. As Means puts the 77 one lap down, that's Ryder Howell out of Colora, Maryland. Huge lead for the 26. Over a half a track lead over the 97 of Arlo Turner. Arlo Turner. One lap to go for the 26. about it 
folks. Let's put our hands together when the 26 makes her way across that finish line. Give it up for the 26, Memes Grimel out of Harvard of Grace, Maryland, picking up a big win for her here on this big racetrack. Like I said, I mean, I can't imagine what it's like for these little riders to uh, ride on such a, uh, a track this big for them. It's gotta be like us going down the turnpike. But uh, one more uh, corner to go here for the 97 of Arlo Turner. We're off. Eldridge with a hole shot. Samuels on the high line going into turn one. Gokenauer down low. Gokenauer in second. Eldridge going to lead him down the back straightaway. second over Gokenauer. Let's see if uh, Samuels on the 91 has anything for the 302 of Drew Eldridge, who's been getting phenomenal starts all night long. Eldridge just like rockets off of the line. The 91 of Samuels has his work cut out for him. If there's anything he wants to do to uh, win this last 85cc uh, District 6 main event of the year, but right now out front, the 302, Drew Eldridge doing a good job. Drew Eldridge, just 10 years of age. One of the younger riders in this 85cc class, doing a good job out front. Followed by the 91 of Colton Samuels. And Aiden Gokenauer, the 107 in third. In fourth place, you got the number eight of Jaden McAllister. You've seen Jaden make some big moves in his heat race as he closes the gap on the 107 of Gokenauer a little bit down the back straightaway. McAllister loses a little bit of ground through three and four that lap around. But uh, we could have a little battle developing here over that third spot as McAllister looks to close up the gap again. But Gokenauer doing a good job in that third position there. Halfway flags out. They're halfway home. All Drew Eldridge has to do now is uh, maintain exactly what he's doing and he will be our 85cc main event winner, but in order to do that, he's gotta put in a few solid laps. He's not home free yet. Anything can happen in racing, and it's not over till it's over, so. The 91 gives chase. That's Colton Samuels on the 91, and look at this. The number eight of McAllister closing up on the 107 of Gokenauer. Got a good battle over that third position, going down the back straightaway into three as Gokenauer and McAllister are side by side. A little bobble out of Gokenauer there. Gokenauer using that high line going into turn one. Puts a little breathing room between himself and the number eight that lap by. Out front, the 302, Drew Eldridge out of Trout Run, Pennsylvania, just a little bit north of Harrisburg. Not too far away from home tonight. Gonna possibly go home with a first place trophy if he can keep up this pace. Stay out of harm's way. That's the 302 of Drew Eldridge. One lap to go for Drew Eldridge out of Trout Run, Pennsylvania, riding a Husk Varna. Followed by the 91 of Colton Samuels on a KTM and Aiden Gokenauer on a Yamaha out of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. So far, Gokenauer's done a fantastic job of holding off the advances of the number eight. Gokenauer slows up a little bit, has some type of issue, and look at that. The Ada McAllister goes by, give the win to the 302 of Eldridge. 
second to Colton Daniels. And who's it going to be at the line here? Gokenauer and McAllister give it to the number eight of Jaden McGurton. We're off. Eldridge with a hole shot. Samuels on the high line going into turn one. Gokenauer down low. Gokenauer in second. Eldridge going to lead him down the back straightaway. second over Gokenauer. Let's see if uh, Samuels on the 91 has anything for the 302 of Drew Eldridge, who's been getting phenomenal starts all night long. Eldridge just like rockets off of the line. The 91 of Samuels has his work cut out for him. If there's anything he wants to do to uh, win this last 85cc uh, District 6 main event of the year. But right now out front, the 302, Drew Eldridge doing a good job. Drew Eldridge, just 10 years of age. One of the younger riders in this 85cc class doing a good job out front. Followed by the 91 of Colton Samuels. And Aiden Gokenauer, the 107 in third. In fourth place, you got the number eight of Jaden McAllister. You see Jaden make some big moves in his heat race as he closes the gap on the 107 of Gokenauer a little bit down the back straightaway. McAllister loses a little bit of ground through three and four that lap around. But uh, we could have a little battle developing here over that third spot as McAllister looks to close up the gap again. But Gokenauer doing a good job in that third position there. Halfway flags out. They're halfway home. All Drew Eldridge has to do now is uh, maintain exactly what he's doing and he will be our 85cc main event winner, but in order to do that, he's got to put in a few solid laps. He's not home free yet. Anything can happen in racing, and it's not over till it's over, so. The 91 gives chase. That's Colton Samuels on the 91, and look at this. The number eight of McAllister closing up on the 107 of Gokenauer. Got a good battle over that third position going down the back straightaway into three as Gokenauer and McAllister are side by side. A little bobble out of Gokenauer there. Gokenauer using that high line going into turn one. Puts a little breathing room between himself and the number eight that lap by. Out front, the 302, Drew Eldridge out of Trout Run, Pennsylvania, just a little bit north of Harrisburg. Not too far away from home tonight. Got to possibly go home with a first place trophy if he can keep up this pace. Stay out of harm's way. That's the 302 of Drew Eldridge. One lap to go for Drew Eldridge. Out of Trout Run, Pennsylvania, riding a Husqvarna. Followed by the 91 of Colton Samuels on a KTM and Aiden Gokenauer on a Yamaha out of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. So far, Gokenauer's done a fantastic job of holding off the advances of the number eight. Gokenauer slows up a little bit, has some type of issue, and look at that. The eight of McAllister goes by, give the win to the 302 of Eldridge. Second to Colton Samuels, and who's it gonna be at the line here? Gokenauer and McAllister give it to the number eight of Jaden Mc... Lost a little bit of power. That gave uh, the advantage to DC Limited main event. We're looking for the green light. Memes with a little push to give herself a little bit of an advantage. 
It works. She goes into turn one ahead of the 97 of Arlo Turner. Turner goes to the high line, Memes to the bottom. Let's see if Turner's got anything for Memes down the back straightaway. This is a little bit like a horse race here. Plenty of time to see what's happening and to build up the suspense as they go off into turn number three for the very first time right now. It's going to be uh, Memes with a couple second lead over the 97 of Arlo Turner out of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Memes with a three second lead on lap one across the stripes. Hugs that bottom inside line. That's the shortest way around the racetrack for these little motorcycles. And let me tell you, that makes a big difference when uh, you know all these motorcycles being so evenly uh, powered. Shortest distance between two points is, uh, you know, that's what she's trying to do out there. And Memes is doing a good job of exactly that as she uh, opens up that lead quite a bit on lap number two. Might have to deal with a little bit of lap traffic down the back straightaway, possibly going into turn three. Be a little bit better for Memes if she can get by on a straightaway. She comes up on some lap traffic. That's the number 11 of Lucas Stern, new rider out there. But Stern goes high, opens up the door, allows Memes to get by safe and clean. Lucas Stern drops back down into the racing line and now Arlo Turner will have to get, whoa, whoa, hi, whoa. Got a rider down on the front straightaway. Little bit of a tank slapper for Lucas Stern. Seems to be up and okay. That's the good news. Caution flag out. Put our hands together for the 11 of Lucas Stern. Man, what a ride that must have been. Uh, you know, do, doing a tank slapper down the straightaway at least 45 miles an hour. I mean, I know I wouldn't like to, uh, to hit the dirt going that speed. All right, look at that. Getting back up on the horse, the number 11 of Lucas Stern. Man. Give that kid some credit. I mean, crashing on the straightaway and picking himself up, dusting his knees off and getting back on. And, uh, that, that takes a lot of courage to do that. That's going to allow the uh, 86 of Forrest Wilson, uh, who now takes over the third spot. Forrest Wilson out of Milford, PA. Nephew of uh, AFT Twins rider Garrett Wilson. So, uh, Forrest Wilson out of Milford, Pennsylvania, following in his uncle's footsteps. comes the 11 of Lucas Stern. Incredible that Lucas had the courage to get back on that motorcycle. Uh, that takes uh, a lot of cojones to uh, pick yourself up off of the ground and get back after it. My hat's off to the number 11 of Lucas Stern. down on the front straightaway somehow missed that one Ryder is up and okay and walking <coughs> <coughs> 
Yellow flag remains out as we got a motorcycle down on the track. Harlow Turner. We got a new second place rider. That's the number 86, uh, 86 of Forrest Wilson. out one more lap to go for the number 26 followed by the 86 now in third spot the number 11 doesn't look like Arlo Turner is going to be able to get that motorcycle fired up and Folks, the 26 Memes Grimel second main event win of the night. Surprise second place finisher, the number 86 of Forrest Wilson. And look at this, put your hands together, smoking the number 11 of Lucas Stern, bruised and battered, makes the finish. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. Got number eight, Jaden McAllister. 104, Jackson Taylor. These two are local boys down in the Coatesville area. Should be a good race. Down the back straight, looks like Jackson Taylor pulling away. <laughs> McAllister running her in deep, taking a high side. Coming down high. McAllister in second. McAllister's going to give him some pressure here in a minute. I guarantee you that. Still 104, Jackson Taylor in the lead. McAllister's licks that high side coming out at four. Jackson holding him off. See you. Callister underneath. Trying to come in out of two underneath. Got a good run coming out of two. Can he get him in? Going into three. Callister, little bobble there at the back end. Taylor still with the lead. Number eight, McAllister in second. I think this is going to be a good finish. Up next, we have race five, youth quad. It's a beautiful moon over there. <laughs> Check her tree. Taylor, McAllister, still one, two. It's great to be up here at Babs for the last race of the District Six season. A couple titles will be up for grabs in the adult classes McAllister running it in high trying to come out of four high with the lead Taylor still holding ball halfway halfway Flatman gave him the halfway McAllister trying underneath Taylor still holding that steady line Trying to come out of two. Got the back straight. Who can hold it on the longest? Cows a big run going into three. Can he get him on the outside? 
Coming out of quarter, neck and neck. Jackson, you better be on the gas, boy. Couch is going to go underneath. No, he ain't. Coming out of two of the big run on the outside. McCouch looks like he's going to take Taylor on the back straight away. We have a new leader. Jaden McAllister. Uh-oh, Taylor underneath, coming out of four. Neck and neck. Oh, McAllister at the line. Told you it's going to be a close finish. He's too bad all the time. Cows are coming out too on along the guardrail. Taylor holding it on longer. Cowster takes the lead. Number eight, 104. Good race. Best race all night. Cows are stressing it out now, going down the back straight. Taylor ain't gonna give up, Al. Guarantee you that. Taking the checkered flag, Jaden McAllister, Jackson Taylor. 24, Levi Fitz. 90, Parker Half. 200, Samuel Bush. Brady Meckley, 33, Chase Meckley, 30, Brooklyn Leeds. Youth Quad, ladies and gentlemen. Some of these pretty much hold them on the whole way around. You can hear them, they don't let off. I know Memes was holding that 50 on the whole way around. baby. Like I said, these quads, some of them hold it on the whole way around. They're not letting off. Leader coming down to four. Traffic on the back straight away. Got through clear, which is a good sign. Later underneath. Until we have trick or treat on the front straightaway. I'm starting to see a bunch of costumes, which is good. Make sure you fill the bags full of candy. All right, I, I see it looks like Count Dracula sitting down here in front. I see a SWAT mommy down there. Trick or treat, SWAT team. Trick or treat. Happy Halloween.
just an ad thing. Uh, he let off. Yeah, you gotta let him breathe a little bit. Blow him up. That'd be replacing him tomorrow. Rebuild him tomorrow. Start to finish. That's what you want to do. Up next, race six, 65 cc, seven to 11. Barn burner. Seven of eight go Gokenauer. And look at that, Samuels rockets off the line. Man, one goes one up on the 302 of Drew Eldridge, as Eldridge has been the guy getting the hole shots tonight, but uh, now takes over the point as Eldridge on the 302 leads him down the back straightway. We got a little battle on our hands here for that first spot between the 302 of Eldridge and the 91 of Samuels. Look at this. They go hard at it into turn number one with the 107 of Aiden Gokenauer. Gokenauer right there in third place. Has those uh, top two riders in his sights. Into turn number three. Look at Samuels goes in there with a whole lot of steam. Man, Samuels wanting to win this 65cc main event. They're almost side by side going down the front straightaway. Eldridge doing a good job of holding off the advances of Samuels. I think these uh, riders are... Uh, running within track record time here, if I'm not mistaken. They're putting in some fast laps. Good battle up front. Eldridge goes into turn one, down low. Samuels follows him. See if he can uh, pick up anything uh, from the 302 of Eldridge as he uh, goes to work on studying the lines of the 302 of Eldridge, kind of closes up the gap there a little bit and, uh, and going into three. Samuels uh, has got turn three here at Bass Speedway figured out, but Eldridge fast everywhere around the racetrack, and that's what it's gonna take to win this 65cc main event. You gotta be fast around the whole racetrack, not just in certain parts. As you see the 302 of Drew Eldridge, uh, man, starting to extend that lead a little bit. We've seen a little bobble out of the 91 the last lap, and uh, that may have allowed the 302 to kind of distance himself a bit. Cross flags from our starter. That means uh, halfway home for the 302 at Drew Eldridge. area we're three races away from uh, our halloween bash we're only three races away from our halloween bash so uh if you got to put on a costume you got to get ready you got to get dolled up you got to put on that swat uniform whatever it is you got to do get ready because that halloween bash is coming up next don't want to miss that Eldridge 
extending that lead. Look at Eldridge rocket down the back straightaway. Huge lead there over the 91 of Samuels. We go Kanauer in third. 104, Jackson Taylor in fourth. And in fifth, Jaden McAllister. One lap to go for the uh, 302 with Drew Eldridge. Drew Eldridge is gonna go home with a big trophy if he can keep it up on two wheels and uh, stay out of harm's way. Half a lap to go for the 302 with Drew Eldridge out of Trout Run, Pennsylvania on a Husqvarna. Let's put our hands together for the 302, Drew Eldridge with a big win. And in second place, the 91 of Colton Samuels. And in third place out of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, the number 107, Aiden Gokenauer. There he is, third place. Our third place finisher. And in fourth place, the 104, a Jackson Taylor out of Coatesville, Pennsylvania, and a Kawasaki. Was Drew Eldridge was a running uh, record. It's our heat race winner. She's first pick, and uh, look at that. The 68 of Denise Philo. Philo Philo gets the whole shot. And uh, number four, Brianna Mulvaney takes over the spot, but now it's the triple nickel, Giovanna Shipman, three leaders, half a lap. This is pretty exciting so far. Let's see if uh, Giovanna Shipman can uh, do what she came here to do, and that's to say, see you later, everybody. I'm here to win this race, make the drive from Maybrook, New York, worth it. Like I said, Giovanna Shipman had to overcome a, a big time mechanical failure that she had last weekend down at uh, Airport Speedway in Newcastle, Delaware. That uh, Honda 125 that she's riding here tonight seized up. Dad had to take it back home, take the top end off, freshen her up, and uh, she's making Dad happy right now. She said, Dad, I know you put in all that hard work. I'm gonna reward you with a win here tonight at BAP Speedway, and uh, that's exactly what she's uh, set to do as uh, Giovanna Shipman leads him down the back straightaway, and that's the number four, Brianna Mulvaney out of Narvon, Pennsylvania in second on a CRF 150R. So we got a, a two-stroke 125 out front, a 154 stroke in second. This uh, class out here, the Diva class, is designated by motorcycle CC size. Uh, limitations are uh, actually none. It's open class. It's uh, in order to qualify for this race, you have to be a Diva. Yeah, folks, that concession stand has a mean $10 meal down there. Cheeseburger, fries, and a drink, all for 10 bucks at our uh, concession stand located uh, near turn one. Make your way down to that concession stand. Got a lot of goodies down there. Like I said, they got a $10 cheeseburger meal. Comes with fries and a drink, 10 bucks. Can't beat that. Get close to candy time. Halfway flies out now for our divas. Straightway. Gets a little confusing out there when uh, these riders get into lap traffic to keep order of who's in second, third, and so forth. Uh, but second on the racetrack right now is the number four. That's uh, Brianna Mulvaney out of Narbonne, PA.
triple nickel. Of Giovanna Shipman. One more lap to go, but let's see here. She got a huge lead over second place. She can almost coast home from this point and still make it all right. Let's put our hands together for our Diva main event feature winner, Giovanna Shipman out of Maybrook, New York, picking up a big win. The third team with the whole shot. That's Buono with incredible corner speed. Lacks a little bit of that straightaway speed, but he sure makes up for it where it really matters through the corners. He's impressive to watch. Look at that corner speed going into turn number three. Gets through there in a hurry off of turn number four. Man, he puts some distance on uh, himself. Four of Gokenauer. Let's see if the 302 of Drew Eldridge has anything for uh, Gokenauer running second. Charlie Walter running fourth right now, doing a good job in that fourth position, but look at the horsepower on that 302 machine. Got a lot of straightway speed out of that 302, but out front, Nick Bruno doing a good job. Look at that corner speed that the 13 carries. A lot of momentum. Gets a good drive off of the corner and uses that to propel himself down these straightways where he's just a little underpowered. But uh, he more than makes up for it through the corners. And if he can uh, keep this pace up, he might have these guys covered. But here comes the 64 of Gokenauer in second. position. Charlie Walter going by the stripes now on the number 12. The 23 you see out there. Conaby, Cole Conaby. This is his second race of his life. Cole Conaby, a New Jersey rider out there on the number 23 machine. As a halfway flags are shown. You kids are excited out there. There's going to be a lot of candy up for grabs. Uh, you can beat all your friends at school to the candy stash. That's right. Going to go home tonight with some candy and uh, start this uh, Halloween uh, weekend. Uh, and great style here at the races. What better way to celebrate Halloween than at the races? second and third go by now. Here comes the fourth place rider, Charlie Walter, number 12 on the motorcycle, 34 on the back of his leathers. That's because Charlie's riding a different motorcycle that doesn't, uh, he typically does not ride. Uh, that's why you see the 34 on the back and the number 12 on the motorcycle. But uh, look at this, white flag out for the 13. Um, Nick Buono out of uh, Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. Nick doing a good job on that 100 out there. Really rolling around uh, the corners well. Has a little bit of lap 
traffic to get by on this final lap. It goes up high. Let's see if he can get through the lap traffic clean. He's high off the board. Down the home stretch. Here he comes. Big win to the 13th, followed by the 64. I hate Gokenauer. Gokenauer finishing second. Really good ride for Gokenauer, our Gettysburg, Pennsylvania rider. Good to see that. It's our open green. Who's going to be with a whole shot? 44. No. Ames. No. 44. Lasso and Ames go back and forth. They fight over that whole shot. But look at that. Lasso leads them. And who's this on the outside? Can't quite make it out from here. But we got a, we got a surprise leader going down the back straightway as Ames closes in on that leader. Going to see if we can make out who this rider is leading them by. Oh, it's the 99 of Fred Clock. Fred Clock. Man, where did Fred Clock come from? We didn't see him, uh, you know, running this well in the heat race. It's kind of a surprise front runner, but, man, Clock went back and uh, did his homework. And look at Fred Clock out here now. Running up front when it counts the most. Main event. Leading this one over the 16 of Ames and the 44 of Lasso. And look at that, our second place Diva finisher running in the fourth position. That's Brianna Mulvaney out of Narvon, PA, running fourth. She finished second in our Diva main event tonight. Good racing uh, still left in the night. But after this main event, we're going to go trick-or-treating down here on the front straightway. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Town, New Jersey, leads it down the back straightway. Four and in fourth, the number four. Fred Clock, almost a full straightway ahead. Going to be one lap to go with Brian Ames. Fred Clock in second. John Lasso, 44, running third. And here comes 
the Pink Power Ranger on the 16S out of Gibbstown, New Jersey. It's Brian Ames. Gonna win this one. Like I said, I'm not sure what to call him in that pink. Uh, I think it's a Power Ranger uniform, but call him what you want. You're gonna have to call him main event winner now. As Brian Ames on the next one gets second. We're looking for the green flag. Who's it going to be with the whole side? 64, Eddie Dolan, or the 96 of Buono. Who's that on the inside with the black jersey on getting the jump? But look at this. Buono on the outside leads him off of uh, turn number two down the back straightway. We've got a battle going on for third. Ryder sneaking up from the fourth place on the outside of Dolan there. Let's see who's going to Father Johnson, Johnson putting in a strong first lap. Good for Johnson there. Good to see that out of Johnson. Here. And look at that on the outside of uh, Greenland goes the 51. That's Mike Poe getting in uh, into second place there. Mike Poe with a big move on Greenland. Mike Said, uh, you know, this is a stacked heat race. Everybody in this heat race is legitimately a fast guy. Uh, very tough competition all the way through this field here. So, one lap to go over Mike Bow, Greenland, Swarthy on the 25 of 4, Hellinger in 5th, Connery in 6, Phillips in 
seventh. B. He fifth. Megan. Megan Brimal takes over the point down the back straightaway. Out of Harvard to Grace, Maryland. This rider is one to keep your eye on. Here she is out front, uh, walking away from Buono. start to shake on her. Good save uh, with the halfway flags out for uh, Megan on that lap. She's riding the KTM. Megan's uh, 15 years of age. But right now, none of that really matters if she's out in front. is getting better. The night is getting better as our 250B riders in heat race number two head down the back straightaway for lap number one. a lot of racing history with those last names here in Pennsylvania. Barnes and Miller. Miller on the outside. Barnes comes back. Bar to bar down the back straight. We've got a hell of a battle on our hands. over the 28 of Miller. Miller giving chase. You know, Miller was last uh, last racing events, big winner last weekend. So uh, Miller won the main event last weekend, running second to Cole Barnes here tonight. Cole doing a great job out front.
one lap to go. It's gonna be a big win for uh, the 24, Cole Barnes. He's got a half a lap to go. And look at him stretch out that lead down the back straightway. Impressive ride uh, for uh, the, the 24, uh, Cole Barnes. That's the 73. These motorcycles are a single cylinder, 30 year old motorcycles. That's what it's got to be to qualify. Now this is the vintage light class. So uh, we got uh, eight of these riders in the house tonight. It looks like the 99 and the Kenny Dollar is going to lead them out of New York, followed by 76 of John, Lam uh, John Lambert out of Whiteford, Maryland. Bikes, man, they, they sure are getting around here in a hurry. It's fun to watch these motorcycles of uh, yesterday go around here and be so competitive. They're putting in some pretty fast lap times as the 99 of Kenny Dawson needs to buy. That's the 813 of Michael uh, Halsey there in second. Racing KX 450 bobbles a little bit, goes backwards. Braden Banders to the point. We got a two rider battle for a second going into third. Smith leads the gas on a little bit longer, maintains second stop. Smith is second, going on side by side going into turn number one. That's lap number one. Banders setting sail out front with uh, Cameron Smith in second there. And Max Harvath. This is Heat Race 1 and 2. Top three riders will be on the front row for tonight's main event. So, a preview of what may be to come next year on the AFT Pro Ranks as Fanders will attain his, uh, his pro card. 
50. Zero modifications to that motor. So still doing a good job on that stock KX450 of Cameron Smith there. But uh, out front, Banders on the KTM. Like I said, this might be a little preview of what you might see next year. Just walking away from uh, the 68 Cameron Smith, 36 of Johnny Long. That's the 1 2 3 running order with Dustin Healy in fourth, Garrett Wilson in fifth, Max Harga. Fingers on the clutch. With the whole shot going into turn number one. Cole Jose on the outside, followed by the Ada Hirsch. They're side by side, coming off of turn number two down the back straightaway. Look at Hirsch making a move on the outside. Big move from my man Derek Hirsch. All right, this guy, uh, you know, is kind of uh, made a return to racing. third spot. Big moves out of the eight. But back out front. Now this is the heat race, so a little bit of a preview of what's gonna maybe come in tonight's main event. Whoa, a little swerve action going on there with the 99. Not quite sure what happened there. front down the back straightaway. Phoenixville, Pennsylvania rider, the 721. Front on the 
721 putting in that work. Putting in that work on that 721. Cycles. Uh, these motorcycles. The big mean hole shot there. That's Caleb Parshall. Caleb out of New York. Or uh, he's a regular resident up at Square Deal. Kind of teammates with the. Uh, in second place, the number 31A. I think District 6 was brand new. So uh, good job out there for the 31 uh, You're a Jeffic, John. You're a Jeff. You're a Jeffic. Good run for John there on the 31. Number eight of Hannum with a big move down the front straightaway. Guy came down the front straightaway. He looked like he was going 50 miles an hour faster than uh, anybody else. Hannum on the road jacks. That's the number eight machine. Tommy Hannum making big moves out there. Uh, I don't know if there's enough left to run down the 25. Hannum with some big straightaway speed. Uh, 
Ah, I don't know. Uh, he's got a long way to go. I'm going to ask my uh, co-announcer here, Norm. Yeah, I don't think so, huh, Norm? What do you think? There's a big gap between first and second. I don't think he's... Yeah, Big Daddy Norm says, I don't think that's going to happen, but... Look at the 47. Uh, that's uh, Carson Langle out of Pine Grove, Pennsylvania. 72, putting that XR 750 to good use with the mild tuck. You know, the 72 on a 72 machine. Look at them tuck down the back straightaway. races. Oh, somebody getting up here. Yeah. Right there. Uh, 26. Uh, Nick Maselli. second last weekend so i know he'd like to redeem himself with a win here tonight this is a heat race he's setting himself up for a, a, a nice starting spot for tonight's main event Kawasaki, what a good heat race that was. They're off. Who's it going to be into turn number one? Oh, got somebody going down real low. Makes it work to their advantage. Now they got a huge lead going down the back straightaway. We got a three rider battle shaping up here. Maybe over second. Let's see. out front.
away from this one with one lap left to go. Scott Neagley over the 53, a hunter weekend. Randy Lee's and Brad Fisher back there battling over that third final spot. Decker flag out this time by. Actually, that was a motorcycle that Ryan Barnes actually rode at one point in time. When actually Ryan Barnes rode that very motorcycle here at this racetrack. Boy, uh, hard to recall the exact year. Maybe that was 2012 or something like that. So a lot of history of that motorcycle that's leading his heat race right now with rider Todd Kendig. Caught Todd is uh has uh, purchased that motorcycle and put it to good use. And uh, the, the interesting thing about that motorcycle it still has the same paint uh, job that it, it, uh, it always has. So, uh, not a history of that motorcycle right And in second, the 64, Cody Bauer out of Parkville, Maryland, running second. And in third, the 12 Live of Robert Young. here at BAP Speedway. Good to see Hirsch get back up to speed so quickly after making his return to uh, the District 6 racing scene as he uh, battles the 22 of Mitch Harbeck. Harbeck to retaliate going into turn one. Dustin Healy on the 45 who is looking really fast practice a bit off pace there on the 45 machine. Four 
Smith who leads him down the back straightaway. Huge lead over the 22. Harvath, both of these riders, AFT uh, Super Twins riders, This year, easily wins that one over the 22. And Jess Reynolds in fourth there. Here comes he qualifies the main event. Oh, Challenger having a little issue off the line there. But look at this. And to turn number one, it's Wilson and Long. Wilson on the outside doing a good job there. And third is uh, Logan McGrain. Mellinger uh, comes to a stop on the inside of turn number one there. Some kind of issue down there. Here comes McGrain past Wilson into second. McGrain now uh, running that low line. He's going to set his sights on the 36 of Johnny Long. Long with a little bit of a, probably a three and a quarter second lead over the 66 of McGrain. AFT single rider Johnny Long doing a fantastic job out front. Looks like he might be losing what he is gaining. Gains going in, but loses coming out. While out front, Johnny Long on the 36. for the 36 of Johnny Long, Logan McGrain. Maybe closing that gap a little bit. Logan finally uh, found some lines that might have worked for him. Closes, inches up, but a little too little too late as uh, Johnny Long has got this one in the bag. Second. Wilson Riders here. Oh, Barnes jumps in. Ramsell leads him into turn one. Ramsell's been uh, putting in some good rides lately. Kid has really been picking it up, but so has the number 85 of 80, uh, Megan uh, Rymel. And uh, they're running one, two right now. Both Maryland based riders, one, two. Cole Barnes out there. Megan finding himself in third, making quick work of, uh, of Fanders and Johnson. to turn number three. Ramsell's been uh, really uh, finding his groove lately. And has been uh, a long run. in the second half of the season and he's doing no different here tonight as uh, he leads this first of two 450 sportsman heat races. Like I said, if you want to line up on the front row for this main event tonight, you got to finish in the top three. And uh, looks like uh, Barnes might be the guy to finish third. Uh, the halfway flag show. Barnes making it, uh, making this a tough job as he jumped that start and had to come from the third row. Look at this, we got a race on our hand over uh, the number one spot with a 14 and the 85. And if those two could uh, start battling and slow each other up, that might let Barnes sneak in there a little bit. Right now it's the 14, the 85, and the 24. One, two, three. A couple Maryland riders with the Pennsylvania rider. Look at it. Barnes making that low line, trying to make that low line work. Gobbles a little bit, loses everything he gained. 
but great battle up front with one lap to go. Turn number one, Miller on the outside. Can't quite make out who that is in the front, but uh, that looks like maybe uh, Nick Buono. Buono is gonna lead him into turn number three for the first time. Buono, Miller, boy, one, two, three with Armet in fourth. Look at that. Ben Miller trying to make that low line work down there in one and two. Miller giving Chase applying the pressure there. Drops down low, way up high goes Buono. They're side by side coming down uh, the back straightway. Give the advantage to Buono on the 13th. Miller gets three turns one and two. Excellent. As they come off the turn number four here, let's see how it plays out. With the halfway flags out, Miller down low, Buono to the top side. They're side by side through the middle of the corner. Off of turn number two, down the back straightway, give the advantage to Buono. Miller's close by. Did he close the gap enough to make something happen? We'll have to wait and see how it plays out this lap by. All right. Buono did a great job. Miller there on the 28th machine. You need to see the, the line choice, the two different riders riding completely different lines, both extremely fast here tonight. troubles in the uh, in the twins class redeeming himself here as he leads this one down the back straightway second there between Tra Travis Hankey on the 74 and the 64B at Kenny Dolan. Hankey and uh, Gardner's PA doing a good job there. Travis Hankey on 
on the 74. Holding off the advances at 64B, Kenny Dolan. Kenny Dolan's no, not an easy guy to stay in front of. Uh, but here we go on the turn number four. Johnny Long, Johnny Long, man, he's uh, he put in some serious work. He's a 64. Kenny Dolan has a little trouble on the white flag left. That's why they say racing, it ain't over till it's over, folks. Kenny Dolan, who is uh, sure to be sitting on the front row for tonight's main event, finds himself with the mechanical problem. For the number 12 is uh, the 36 of uh, Richie Bellinger wins it. Bosher. Takes over the spot going into turn one. Phillips way down on the inside of the track. Not sure if he knew where he was going there, but look at Hannum down the back straightaway. Huge lead, lap number one. Hannum was going fast earlier tonight and uh, looks to be uh, doing the same here in this heat race as uh, the number four, Hannum Phillips. Now the front straightaway. Phillips and said, whoa, whoa, little, uh, little squirrely there going into turn one for Phillips. Phillips gathers it back up. Could have had a moment there, Phillips, but uh, did a good job of gathering it back up as it looked like he hooked a run there or something. Stood the motorcycle up, sent it into a little bit of a wobble. Our Maryland rider go uh, taking over the lead. A little bobble out of Ramsell and Lucas. And uh, Ramsell maintains that lead. James, Lucas James goes backwards but comes back by running it in deep into turn number three. Off of turn number four, Ramsell, Lucas James. That's the 8.25 of John Piro out of Kingston, Pennsylvania. James Shipman, one, two, three. Shipman moving into that third spot. That's Giovanna Shipman. Two Shipmans in the house racing.
for Rams. But like I said, this kid is on a mission here in the closing stages of 2023. Always finding himself running up front. Look at that. Uh, the guy in second is no slouch himself. That's Lucas James as uh, Rams will lead them off at turn number four. Get the win. Brandon Ramsell, Lucas James out of East Fork, Pennsylvania on the Don's Kawasaki, finishing second. And in third, Giovanna Shipman in fourth. That's the 825 of John Firo. That's Don's uh, Will Childs on the 99. Brianna Mulvaney on the four. Dennis Velo on the 68. And Ebersol on the number 12. I think Ebersol is the... Uh, He's uh, been the fast man lately here in District 6 racing. Eversol has, uh, I think he broke three track records this year, and uh, he set fast time in practice here tonight. Eversol has been on a mission, signed a big deal with Tank Slap Podcast, C-Tex, Corey Texter of Corey Texter Racing. Sexy Texty right there for Eversol. Going to be heading to the Amateur Nationals, armed and equipped, and eats. Sent a little message to everybody, and it simply stated, I'm coming for you. three riders but it's the 99 of Childs. Childs don't mess around. Look at Childs. And look at this. Our Diva number four running it in on the inside. That's Brianna. Old baby in second but here comes the eight goat power uh, sponsored bike. The 64 Tim Seeger. Look at that way up there on the high line. We got a great three rider battle going. The guy that has set the track record tonight, Andrew Ebersol, riding the Sexy Texty uh, XR100, sponsored by Corey Texter, C-Tex Racing. Ebersol, uh, our fast qualifier tonight, has broke three track records in District 6 here in 2023. Finds himself in unfamiliar territory running fourth, but look at that, one more lap to go for the number four of Brianna Mulvaney. is going to lead him off into turn number one. Lucas James on the Don Kawasaki. Going to lead him down the back straightway on this first of uh, six lap heat race. James Ramsell in second. They're going to swap roles versus that last heat race. It was Ramsell then James. This time it's James and Ramsell as they go at it down the back straightway. Let's see if Ramsell has anything for James this time by. Ramsell goes high. James down low. Off of turn number four. Here they come side by side. Here they beat us to James that time by. Got a great battle on our hands here between these two young kids who will be, uh, no doubt, uh, the future stars of District 6 racing. That's Lucas James and Ramsell, Pennsylvania rider out front on the Don Kawasaki, followed by Ramsell out of Maryland. And in third spot, we got a great battle on our hands there between uh, the 825 of Piro and Grimel there. 
Rimmel on the 85, running fourth. Good little battle there for that third spot. Look at this. Ramsel gets underneath Lucas. Lucas dives back down low, coming out the third line for fourth. Two Give the advantage to Ramsel. Let's see if James has anything to retaliate as they head down the back straightaway. A couple laps left in this one, so it's still a uh, fair game to anybody uh, between uh, these two young riders as they have outclassed themselves compared to the rest of the field. But we do have a great battle going on for a second between the 825 and the 85 and give the advantage to the 85 that time by. One lap to go. Turn three for the final time, followed by James. Looking for the checker off of turn number four. Get the win to Ramsey. The kids on fire tonight, followed by Lucas James. And look at this. The 85 gets by James to finish third over the 825. And the triple nickel is Gio. Giovanna is here. Got raised third. Jose with the whole shot going into one. Vander's on the outside. Vander takes him on the outside, coming down the back straight away. Vander, Wilson, Greenland. Fifteen-year-old kid, Braden, doing good this year. I think he's going to turn pro next year. Qualifier. Start making your way up. LCQ, start making your way up. I can't hear me, but you can. Commander. Oh, Jose, Healy, Wilson, Greenland on the road tax. Good to see Austin back on two wheels. Went a little sprint car racing. Still does it. Well, came back out here for bat. Commander stretching out leaders for those guys. Speed land district race for up here. It'll be a couple of Timonium going to Timonium Maryland District 7. Whole shot, Cam, second, Tyler, and third, Tyler Cunningham, Marshall, and fourth. Man, Cunningham, Marshall, Reynolds, Mikey Tuck. This is going to be a good race to the end, baby. Trust me. Cunningham putting the pressure on Smith down the back straightaway. Who's going to run it in harder? Cab is still at the lead. Mikey Poe, Jess Reynolds. 
Cunningham looking to go underneath Smith coming out of two. Can he make it stick? I don't think so. Cam shuts the door and says, come get me, boy. Cunningham trying to go underneath again. Love watching Cam ride. Cam is a cool, calm, and collective kid. From the Bill. Yeah, Coach Bill's fine. There's a lot of good riders coming out of Coach Bill. Cam Smith pulling away a little bit from Cunningham. The other Cunningham twin in third. Better get on the gas, boy. Cato's put pressure on you. taking the top four to the main event. So that fourth position is the one you want to watch right now. That's Connolly that has moved into fourth. Make that move into third as Connolly is making his way to the front in a hurry. But out front, the number four, Darren Phillips and Mellinger, one, two. Familiar territory racing in the LCQ. These guys are normally front runners in this uh, in this class, and here they are fighting uh, to be in tonight's main event. Only taking the top four, so Mellinger leads it. Phillips is second. Connolly in third. Fourth, Lurch. That's the top four. That's who's going to make it to the main event. But this is racing, folks. It ain't over till it's over. Can't count on anything till you cross that checkered flag. So uh, we're going to watch this one lap after lap and see how it plays out. Attention in the pits. XL Modifieds, you guys are next. Attention in the pits, XL Modifieds, you guys are next. Your feature is uh, up next. It's feature time for XL Modifieds.
spun around. Gets, get spun. I think we've seen Gets. Number four.
right, that's, uh, let's put our hands together for our Excel Modified winner, Kenny Harris down there on the front straightaway. Kenny Harris picking up a big win tonight. He won at Lincoln Speedway, he won at VAPS, and uh, man, he looks like a happy guy down there on the inside of the, on the front straightaway as his uh, crew and family come out to congratulate Kenny Harris on a very, very impressive win. Uh, you know, that was uh, no easy feat there as he does the, uh, the dance atop the car with a checkered flag as Daryl Bear brings out the winner's trophy, presents it to, uh, to, to Kenny Harris down there on the front straightaway. So how about it, Bab Speedway? Put your hands together one more time for your Excel Modified feature winner, Kenny Harris. Kenny Harris picking up a, a big win here, which is the last race of the year for the Excel Modified. So he's gonna go into the off season with a lot of wind under his sails. Um, that's gonna make uh, you know him high, highly anticipate the start of the 2024 race season. And uh, you know uh, the uh, 17 of Kenny Harris is gonna come out swinging. Uh, the guy that wrapped up the points championship in 2023 Richie Hitzler on the number nine car there is going to have a big target on his back come 2024. Uh, it's going to make next year's racing season for the XL Modifieds that much more exciting as evident from that 20 lap. Going into turn one, Winsett, Poe in second. Buono in third, Mellinger in fourth, down the back straightaway, lap number one. Here they go. Ricky wins that on the 600 road tax. Oh, on the road tax. Look at this battle for the seventh spot. We got a five rider battle going into turn one for the seventh spot. Front though, the 28, gotta watch himself because right behind him. Is the Poe, oh, we got Rotax and Rotax in one and two positions, followed by Verona in third. Down the back straightaway. Poe puts his head down, trying to Gets a good drive coming off the turn number two. Changes up his line a little bit and is 
figured something out there on A lot of breathing room now for the big into turn number one. Looks like the 13 is going to lead him down. Oh, no. Make that. Can't quite see who it is. Cole Barnes, perhaps. Cole Barnes is going to lead him off of turn number four. Look at this. Cole Barnes leads back number one. Followed by the 13 of Bruno. Cole Barnes doing a good job there recouping after uh, jumping that start in his heat race had to work his way up from the back this time he gets to start up front with everybody else and look at this he here he is leading it but uh coming under the advances of the 13 and nick corona now in the third spot is the 85 getting past ben miller making brian Moore. running that low line down there in one and two. He's starting to extend that lead. Look at Cole Barnes pulling away from the field here. He's got some fast company behind him. Second. Oh, look at this. Look, we got a new driver. has her eye set on the 24 of Barnes now. There, are there enough laps left for the 85 to make something happen? Barnes has a five second lead. So far, Barnes has been smooth and consistent, hasn't made one bobble yet. And that's what he's gonna need to do if he wants to maintain that uh, distance between him and the second place rider there, Brimble.
Goes by the second lap rider into turn number one. Clear track in front of them with less than one lap to go for Cole Barnes. This is going to be a great way to cap off this three District 6 racing season. And here it is on the turn number four for the final time. Taking in together for the number 24, Cole Barnes. With a big win, we can see Cole Barnes. Boy, he felt that one. You know, Mike Barnes is out there just as pumped up as Cole was. He went across the line. Gonna lead him in turn one. No, but look at that down there on the bottom. Lambert shoots up a little bit high. Here comes Kenny Dollar from fourth, third, now into second. And I believe that's the 813 of Halsey out front. Rider. It's Yamaha versus Bultaco with Osa in third. We got one rider slowing up there off of turn number two. Going to get off the racetrack and keep us uh, from a yellow flag. Off of turn number four. Hell, he's done. Fly of Robert Young. Osa in third. So. Yamaha, Bultaco, Osa. That's the top three running order. Pennsylvania rider, Halsey leads it, followed by two New York riders. Robert In the fourth position going across the line now is the number 42, Steve Stanton. Running forward, Steve Stanton in the fourth position. Stanton out of Joba, Maryland. Joba, Maryland. Into turn number one. Alzi on the high line, right the blue machine. They're uh, wheel to wheel down the back straightway. Look at the horsepower advantage that Halsey has over that Bultaco, that dominant ride. Dominant doing a good job of making this an honest race here. In fourth, the 42 is Steve Stanton. In fifth, the 567 is DJ Meyer. And the 25 of Robert Sipes. Oh, a little head shake out of Halsey there on that lap. Got a little push to the wall. Maybe hit a little loose dirt up there. Got him speed wobble but gathers it back up
comes a 12 wide in third place. to turn number one, give the advantage to the 88 of Fanders down there on the low line. And look at that in second place. That's Cunningham. But here comes, can't quite tell down the back straight for the of the shadows. I believe that's Cameron Smith on the Ryan Barnes race in Kawasaki 450. And both Cunningham boys running third and fourth. But look at that out front, the 88 of Braden Fanders. A little preview of what may be to come next year on the AFT circuit. Uh, kind of starting to stretch that lead out a little bit over the 68 of Cameron Smith. And let me make a start there. But look at Cunningham in third. Working that high line through one and two, and down the back straightaway they go. We got a great battle going on there for fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh spots. Attention back out to turn number four. The 88 of Brady Fanders. They're three wide going into turn number one. Look at McGrain way up to the top. Wow, how did he pull that off? it back up, comes down the back straight with the head full of steam. Let's see if he's got anything for Cole Jose. Look at McGrain with a big bump down the bottom. Wow, what a lot by Logan McGrain. But back out front, Brayden Vanders on the 88, the ATM rider out of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. two-stroke, 85 to 154 stroke class. So a couple classes running together out here. And who is that that's gonna lead them? I believe that's a two-way of Robert Stern out of Coatesville, Pennsylvania, down the back straightway. Making a big move on the outside to 721. Buoto out of Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. They're 
side by side going down the back straightway. It's a drag race. Give the advantage to the 2A of Stern. But here comes uh, the 721 on the outside with a head full of steam. New leader this time by. 721, Patrick Pilotto is gonna lead over the 2A. And look at this, in third, in his second race ever, the number 23, Cole Conaby, doing a great job in third in what is only his second race ever. So uh, you might, that name might sound familiar. His uh, big brother, KTM Johnny, uh, District 6 fast boy, uh, is not in attendance tonight. second race ever running in that uh well now the fourth position still is keeping up with the pack doing a great job so got to give a hand, uh you know a tip of the hat to uh cole there on the 23 machine the Stern brothers out of Coatesville, Pennsylvania. So a couple sets of uh, brothers here. You see Cunningham's in that last 450 Pro uh, Expert main event. And in this one here, you got the Stern brothers. The funny thing is they both share the same numbers, 2A and 5A. Stern brothers battling over that second spot and bragging rights As they go down the back straightway, tucked in. Across the strike that time, you got the three of Zach Samuels. Over the 99 of William Childs. A couple great battles out on the racetrack over the second spot. Three rider battle there. Rider battle over the fifth spot, but out front for the huge The 721. traffic there and we still got a good battle over that second spot between the Stern brothers look at that keeping them honest is the 23 of Cole Conaby Conaby doing a great job for what is his second ever race ever on a motorcycle Stern brothers side by side going the fourth with the win to the 721 great job for uh, Luato there and look at this to the line 23 Go off into turn one. Give the advantage to Hannum. Hannum's going to lead him off of turn two. Here comes Swartley, and who's that? That rockets by all of them going into turn three is the 34 of Marshall. What a first lap that was for that 34. He made easy work of the third and second place rider. And, and now has uh, begun to set sail there. Marshall doing a great job out front on that, on that SR. He got a rope cap, sorry. He rides a high. 
Honda up in New York. Here he is tonight on a road down. Legend, the 31A, John Urfrigic. Rotax, Rotax, Honda. And the 
26, uh, Nick Maselli keeping uh, the 22 of Matt Pure on it. Pure can't make a mistake or uh, the 26 will be right there in that line. Up into turn number one they go. The 22 hugs the rail, gets through the middle of the corner really fast and uh, extends his lead. Coming off the turn two, the net is clear around the right. for the 22 as he led, led last week's main event. Ended up second. So this is redemption for the 22 and that's good. One left over. 26. Uh, Nick Maselli. Man, right on the rear bumper of the 22 there. This is going to be a great last lap. like that one. On the 76 is going to lead him into turn one. On the outside though goes the 89 of Todd Kendig. As I said, a lot of history there with that uh, Kendig motorcycle that was originally built by uh, legendary Cycle Shack built that champion frame Yamaha there and uh, won a lot of District 6 races with riders like uh, Tom Majeski back in the early 80s, Mikey Klopp, and uh, right down to Ryan Barnes who rode that motorcycle here at this race. Ryan Barnes rode with. Uh, he was uh, running the 89 plates, uh, following in his father's footstep, Kevin Barnes. Now you see Todd Kendrick taking that first for the past number of years, doing a great job out front here. Todd Kendrick from nearby the Pittsburgh. Sorry, Pittsburgh. We got a great three-rider battle there over the second spot. Look at that, the 12Y of Robert Young has it managed now, but here comes the 64, Cody Bauer. And Langle, the top side. that uh, the 12Y, Robert Young, he's in that 
second spot, but here comes Cody Bauer. Bauer, who had to uh, come from the third row after jumping the initial start. having a brake issue there as he uh, might be a little off pace there looking down goes backwards in a hurry after making up so much ground. second spot Carson Langle out of Pine Grove Pennsylvania doing a good job tonight So they're trying to put in their best performance. You know, this is what they're going to remember all off season, and they want to give it their all. As Langle, man, on the outside, makes a big move down the back straightaway, runs it in deep. Can he maintain that second position? Get the win to Kendrick out front. Of him. Let's look at uh, the exit turn two. Langle gets second. Man, on the last lap. On the 76 is going to lead him into turn one. On the outside, though, goes the 89 of Todd Kendig. As I said, a lot of history there with that uh, Kendig motorcycle that was originally built by uh, legendary Pennsylvania. West Cycle Shack. Built that champion frame Yamaha there and uh, won a lot of District 6 races with riders like uh, Tom Majeski back in the early 80s. Mikey Klopp and uh, right down to Ryan Barnes who rode that motorcycle here at this race. Track. Ryan Barnes rode with. Uh, he was uh, running the 89 plates. Uh, following in his father's footsteps, Kevin Barnes. And now you see Todd Kendrick taking that person from the past number of years, doing a great job out front here. Todd Kendrick from nearby the Hannitsburg. I say? Sorry. Hannitsburg. We got a great three rider battle there over the second spot. Look at that. The 12. Why Robert Young has the advantage now, but here comes the 64, Cody Bauer. And Langle, the top side. Here comes Cody Bauer. Bauer, who had to uh, come from the third row after jumping the initial start. Working hard to make up. Looks down, might be having a brake issue there as he uh, might be a little off pace there. Goes backwards in a hurry after making up so much ground.
second spot, Carson Langle out of Pine Grove, Pennsylvania, doing a good job tonight. performance you know this is what they're going to remember all off season and they want to give it their all as Langle and on the outside makes a big move down the back straightaway runs it in deep can he maintain that second position get the win to Kendrick out front let's look at uh, an exit turn two Langle gets second then on the last lap uh, and so deserving Hirsch launches into turn number one, but it's uh, the 34, Cameron Smith with the lead down the back straightaway. Hirsch doing a really good job tonight and uh, has taken well to that, uh, that big twin Kawasaki that he's riding. Finds himself in second spot right here. And he get by the two riders in front of him. Gets by Hirsch. Hirsch squeaks back by McGrain down the back straightaway. And here comes McGrain to the bottom. Hirsch goes up to the top. Mitch Harbat in fourth. Top four running order there. Ely gets by uh, Hirsch.
Jess Reynolds on the 701, Derek Kirsch on the 88, and Garrett Wilson. Fourth and 28 of Ben Miller out of Lancaster, PA. Fourth and 28 of Ben Miller out of Lancaster, PA. up front He's gonna lead them off of turn number two here comes 85 of Bramble Megan Bramble we see these two young riders finish one two in the main event earlier tonight Barnes kind of goes up high that uh, lets uh, the Dives back down low, goes from fourth to second. We got a crazy little battle on our hands here. As the 85 out of Harvard Grace, Maryland, leads him into turn number three. the 85 gonna have to deal with a little lap traffic as the 62 our man goes up high Ramsey tries to split him down the back straight away this is gonna be a good set off contest in the turn number three Ramsey to the top Ramsey looking for a way around the 85 Great effort by both of those riders with Cole Barnes on the 24 finishing in that third spot. Straightaway, and here comes Mellinger into second. Anna Mellinger, Phillips, 
Phillips with a move to the outside through three and four. The 16 of uh, Andrew Ebersol. Lucas James going to lead him down the back straightaway, but here comes Ramsel. This is going to be a great race. We've seen these two young men battle it out in their heat race earlier tonight. One, two. With Shipman in third. going into turn number one. I know he'd like to 
be this one for mom and dad for uh side watching the Leesport Pennsylvania rider. Only been racing about three years here. It's come a long way in short distance. Man, got drag race and shutoff contest going into turn number three there. on James as these riders going to turn one side by side and have to split a lap rider James dives down low Ramsel with a better drive down the back straightaway James holds it on quite a bit longer to maintain that lead position James wants to win this one again he goes to this one as uh, Ramsel does everything in his power to uh, get by the 18 of James. Ramsel down low. They're side by side coming off of turn two. Ramsel getting great drives off of turn number two. Look at James just uh, leave it on a little bit longer going into three to retake the lead. This is a good race right here on our end. Look at James and Ramsel one, two. Great battle going on here. Rams will uh, get through the middle of one and two. Great, making up a lot of ground there. James, though, with a good lap that time, maintains the advantage. So, off of turn number four. though as James and Rams will battle they're uh, going by some lap traffic now Giovanna Shipman doing a great job in third. Tom Farrow is running in fourth and ever saw rounding out in fifth. Off of turn number four for the final time. Give the win to Randall. Great race out of those two young riders right there. Uh, a lot more of that to come in just for six races. Four, no doubt about it. Get the third place uh, finish to the New York based rider, Giovanna Shipman. Fourth. Okay, look at that. The 99 of William Childs Rock gets off the line, followed by the 64 Tim Seeger. Child Seeger 1 2. Seeger on the uh, the Aiden Gokenauer sponsored uh, Honda. Look at that. Childs on the 99. Rockets down the back straightaway with a big lead. straightway. Fourth 
on the track there. Here goes uh, the number 12 of Ebersol. Sexy Texas CRF 100. But again, we got a good battle on our hands over that second spot between the number four and the 99. That's the one, two, three running order with Eversol in fourth. Coming off of turn number four in fifth is uh, the 99 F of Fred Fox. Number three, Zachary Samuels. Zachary Samuels in Fox. Fifth and sixth place riders on the racetrack. And here comes Eversol off of turn number four. main events up after this folks and the last one is going to be one to remember Second there, the number four, Brianna Mulvaney in third, the 99 of William Childs in fourth, the sexy texty sponsored rider, Andrew Eversall on the Zachary Samuels. Two more main events to go. Off at the turn one they go, Ramsel with the whole shot. James finds himself running third, now is in second. Going to give Ramsell a run for his money down the back straightaway.
ship and moves into the fourth spot, but that's uh, give the third spot advantage to the 825 of John Piero, who's doing a great job running in that third position. Lap rider of Ames there, as James gets by as well. if James is going to do something. James really closes up the gap going into turn one. Spins it up just a little bit off of uh, turn number two. Turn number three. Rams are protecting that low line off the corner. Take a little bit of Rams over to James. of the 2020 Picked up a big win last weekend, running up front here again tonight in the final uh, race of the 2023 District 6 season. Inside, taking over that second spot, give that advantage to Smith. There between Cunningham and Smith as they're as they're bar to bar down the back straightway. Smith leaves it on. Reed takes the second spot. Vader's on Reed. Battle on the track is over that second position.
second, 68, Cameron Smith, Dylan Cunningham in third, Tyler Cunningham in fourth, Cole who in this Mike Bow and Marshall. Gary Wilson. One for Manders to close out the 2023 AMA District 6 race season. drive home safe and uh, thank you for being part of tonight's uh, last race of the 2023 AMA District 6 season.